はいなんで看板出してないんだあ今は交代法でいろいろうるさいので看板は出さないんですなんだよ交代法ってそ,それはぼぼう。早く案内しろお前はい Welcome back to Psycho Juice Box Hi this is B Views I'm Mike I'm John Are you ready for this Johnny? Oh yeah、I'm... Another another movie on the J Edge The first J Edge the movie The first J Edge movie first time How ever... much is it Johnny? It's $3.99 a month And it's worth every damn dime I, And we're making it worth it Oh it is <laughs> Especially for this movie This trilogy Trilogy, yeah. We're only going to talk about the first one, though. Yeah. Yeah. It is,、uh, today we're talking about FM 89.3 megahertz. Megahertz. So they had to walk on the highway. <laughs> they had to basically like hitchhike.
finding a bus, stop yep. and taking a bus. And they go to the boss's headquarters. Yep. And he's just like, since when are, are Yakuza picked up from jail by a bus? Yeah. And? Yeah. Yeah, because of Taro. And they all turn around and all of the Yakuza guys beat the ever-living shit out of Taro. As they should! The guy is fucking useless! <laughs> It's, it's terrible because I feel like Taro's a punching bag. He should be. But at the same time, he's very annoying. He is. He's terribly annoying. He's a terrible character. He's very much like a, I think he's supposed to be, he's, it's supposed to be like a comic relief. Oh yeah, absolutely. He, he, but functions, he functions better as a comic relief later in the movie, but at the beginning, oh, yeah. Yeah. when it seems a lot more serious, yeah. like the joke is that he doesn't, he's sent to pick him up, he doesn't have a license, and they have to take the bus. I'm like, then they, then we have a scene where one of them's yelling "fuck" at them, and then they're kicking the shit out of a guy who yeah. can't defend himself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they don't feel bad about it at all. You really don't. Oh, that's where that's because it's a comedy uh -huh. film. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's it's very strange though. Yeah, it's, it's a strange different. beginning. I yeah. think, for a comedy. Yeah. So he goes to the boss's place, um, the Yakuza boss's place, yep. and the Yakuza boss basically tells Junji that he has to go and manage. Well, uh, yeah, he, he, he's like, um, well, we have this guy and he couldn't pay his debt, and, uh, so instead of giving us money, he gave us this, uh, this, um, like a mini FM station yeah. building that he okay. owns, right? <clears throat> yep. Which is yep. how all three of the, well, all <coughs> Yakuza Principle 2 is just, uh, yeah. that's that's just Yakuza Principle cut off. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> it should have just been part of that movie. It, it should have. Yeah. Anyway, let's not talk about that. <laughs> right. At a later time. Jeez. It's alright. Um, yeah. That's, that's what happened. Yep. And then the boss tells Junji, well, we're, uh, it's your job to take care of this radio station. Right. Junji! Hey. You gave me my father's hand. Okay. I'm fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Junji. I have a hand to hand. Yes. Okay. 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 フリンガイ館の裏にあるえっとあれなんて雑居ビルだあれなんあれ does he go to immediately to the station and meet the check who's there? Mm. Something like that. I mean, he's he continually says like this stuff where uh, he's just like uh, running a radio station isn't the job of a yakuza, mm -hmm. and the boss is like, "Well, you do the jobs that I tell you to," and he goes and he uh, he meets. Oh, what's her name? くるくるもえ。その。ピチョ。ピチョピチョ。ドキッチョの夕かた。はい。ご主人様に浴衣の根をたっぷり送りました。それでは次のお便りに行くピチョ。と行きたいところなんだけど今日はもうおしまいちょ
She just talks. Yeah. She plays her music and then just talks. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, it's a great listen. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he goes and meets yep. Yukatan. Yep. And she basically brushes him off saying, get the hell out of here. What is this? Yeah, well, of course not. <laughs> yeah, 
because there really wasn't it's any. like everyone has cell phones I, I don't understand it yeah. I don't understand most of the things that are happening yeah, in the world course. right now well, of course it's literally just a lost person yeah, oh yeah really. yeah especially with that kind of technology I mean you barely even had a car phone back then. I know <laughs> So then that's kind of a kick in his ass. Yeah. And then he goes back to the station and, you know, he kind of gives the spiel to Yucatan. Mm -hmm. And that kind of starts our... And our hero's journey Yes, weekend. yes, <laughs> yes. As a radio it's actually, disc jockey. It's actually a very neat movie. It is. It's, it's, it's one of, it's a very, like, nice... Redemption, I guess, story. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. Compared to the other trash that we've watched on the edge. <laughs> oh, like uh, Sadako versus uh, Hikiko. Yeah, yeah, that was that was very <laughs> very strange. Yeah, just not a good, not not a good movie. We're not gonna do a review of that. You know, if we do the Ringu movies, we have to do that movie. <laughs> oh. Well, it's it it can't it's not canon. It's I don't think. Uh, I don't know. Are any of the movies canon, really? Uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> so. So uh, he goes back to, and he kind of starts his, you know, with the business with the, um, with Yucatan. Yeah. And then so... Yucatan has another job. <laughs> Yeah. I want to say she's she like a salesman. Sa for sells flowers out of the back of a van. She sells fish. But then she sells fish. Yeah. But the van has a bunch of flowers on it. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So I thought yeah. it was a flower. Yeah, I it thought it was a flower seller, but yeah, then I, she was asking people if they wanted meat or fish. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, it, it could be anything. Who knows? It's everything. It's yeah. a, we never learn it. It's a wandering pawn shop. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, we never learn. <laughs> but uh, her van breaks down, yeah. and she can't make it to the radio station. Yeah. And everyone loses their minds. Yeah. yeah. This is when we get a good, uh, good old uh, Junji yell, <laughs> especially when he throws Taro. <laughs> get out of the way. <laughs> Ozawa is just so good at. Yes, he he's, he's, he's a very angry man, and he has a very awesome yell. Yeah, he just sounds so angry. It's too bad with that we can't we can't let you hear that yell because that is an awesome yell. Well, yeah, so we'll, we'll I'll someday see if I can I can do it, but I don't think I can. All right, that's fine. <laughs> that's all right. What's your name, It's I I don't know how to do any of it. <laughs> That explains so much about this show that nobody watches. <laughs> worst, one... worst produced show on the internet. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, yeah. so back to the um, um, Yucatan breaking down. Oh, yeah. She's obviously having car troubles. Yep. And she's on the phone. Yeah. And she's just like, look, or wait. Before this, they decide they're going to do it, and they're going to do it right, and they need money, because the station is broke. Yeah, yeah. Now we have to go back. <laughs> oh, that's okay. We uh, do that all the time. Because this part's great. Yeah. This is one of my favorite jokes in the whole thing, because it reminds you of, like, Bad News Bears and shit. Yeah. <laughs> is that when they're sitting it's like, around? It's, it's when uh, they're like, we have no money, and he's like, oh, well, how, yeah. do, how do yeah. we get money? And she's like, well, you got to get sponsors. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's the same thing as Bad News Bears, where they're like, well, we need a sponsor. What do we do? We get the strip club. So what, is, yeah. what does Junji go do? He goes. he goes to his Yakuza pals, and he's like, hey, guys, what businesses do you have? And the one guy's like, well, I have a massage parlor that's a front for a brothel. Yeah. And the other guy's like, well, I have a porn store where I sell illegal pornos. Yeah. And, and the other one's like, uh, what's... Another one has another thing that... Oh, it's a, it's a weird... Uh, mini casino. Yeah, yeah, that's it. With a yep. with a five hundred thousand yen minimum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So and it's a high stakes. Members only. Yeah, high stakes casino. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, then when she breaks down, he's like, "Well, uh, we'll just uh, do the show later 
we'll just do the show late when you get here. And she's like, yep. you can't do that because the show is scheduled for 6 o'clock. Yep. And you have to start the show at 6 o'clock. And with tiny FM stations like this, yep. if you don't... If you don't, uh, if you don't start listening at, on time or start playing on time, then you lose listeners, yep. and that's how that works. So he's like, "Well, uh, I'll just play music until you get here," and she's like, "That's half-assed." Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then you see a good interaction with him and Taro. Oh. And Taro tries to turn on stuff, and well, he just shoves up on him. Well, because <laughs> because they're all like. She's she's logging them through uh, through turning everything on, yep. and he's like, uh, "Turn the soundboard on." He's like, uh, "What's the soundboard?" And he's like, "It's the it's the thing." And he's like, "Where's the switch?" He's like, "Behind it." And everyone's scrambling to get all the equipment to yep. work properly. Yep. And uh, they end up turning the on air thing, and then he's beating the shit out of Taro <laughs> yeah. on the air. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Taro wants to start talking, but then he just pushes him over in the chair. Well, I, I think he was, like, trying to figure stuff out, yeah, and then yeah. he just started freaking out and, like, yelling or something, yeah, yeah. and then he just pushed him out of yeah, the way, and yeah, Taro got him out of the way. on the floor for the rest of the scene. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's good stuff. And this is when he actually starts talking, and so we get our first glimpse of Junji as... Radio disc jockey. Yep. To any cook, Mickey Sano Denge Rete. Sano Denge? Mickey Sano Denge. Nero! Taku no Urakawa. Oh, she's out there! 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 おい、はい、それそれ、その機械。これ全部用意しろ。はい。早く、しろよ。入れた。今で分かりません。あ、ちょっと。機械の上。あ、たった。押し上げたぞ。テーブルの程度を上げてください。ペダ。これ。よし。
at first he's he uh he reads off all of the all of the uh the sponsors yeah. and I love uh the one guy the porn store because yeah. he's just like uh well uh, is it a, like vanilla he does not he say like vanilla he porn? advertises it he he advertises uh they have they have over twenty thousand vanilla hardcore yeah. uh vanilla hardcore porn porno titles yeah. and then he just goes he just stops for a second and he goes do they only have uncensored <laughs> <laughs> and then they show a video clip of the guy going in there and showing all of his shit yeah <laughs> DVD ブロジェクト。ああ、影絵だけど健全なポルノ。2万作品とされています。とも言うと無修正しか置いてないんじゃないかと。Oh, I thought, like, I thought I saw a pictures. whole bunch of, like, Hustler I, magazines. I didn't think they were magazines. I thought it was, like, uh, it looked like CD cases, but instead it just had a bunch of, like, little pictures printed out. Oh, okay. Out. Okay, yeah, that could be. That could be. <laughs> and then, yeah, uh... Because that's, that's quality right Because each time he talks about one of their businesses, it cuts to them, and yeah. they're all listening to, yeah. to him on the radio, and they're all, like, smiling and laughing at him. <laughs> yeah. And it's like old, good old Jim G's yeah, on the radio he's, for he's, some reason. Yeah, he's, and he's doing good. <laughs> yeah. He's really popular, and he, he well, going kind of backtracking, when he first started, he started telling stories. Well, uh, yeah. And he didn't, and he obviously didn't want to be on the radio. He was just like, all right, that's it, and, and like, he does the sponsorships, and he just turns on, like, uh, Auld Lang Sign, or, or whatever it's called. Yeah, the New Year's song. Yeah. Yeah. And and they're just like, What is he playing? <laughs> and and she calls him up. Yucatan is listening and yeah. she calls him up and is just like What's what's that C D? Turn that off. <laughs> <laughs> it's not New Year's. And she, and <laughs> he's just like, You have to talk to the people and he's like, I don't have anything to say and she's like, Just say anything, like your views on life or right. what you did today or whatever. And yeah, he, how's the weather? He just says something like, uh, never give up because uh, you can always do what you do if you just try. Yeah. 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 You can always do anything you want if you just try. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then it just, that's it. Yeah. And everyone's like, oh, you did the show. That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. It's a very low budget scene movie. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, there is there is really no money. I'm not sure if it's low budget or if it's just like Japanese or. Yeah, I, uh, I could. There's an, this again. This is a J Edge movie, and there's I no mean, information on no, it. No, no. Well, like, you have to you have to dig and do research is, to find this. This is I. We found one page about it. I found one page about it, but I had to go to Hitoshi Ozawa's Asian Wiki page. Yeah, yeah it's not even on Wikipedia. And so then it's an Asian Wikipedia. He didn't even have a Wikipedia. No, which I thought was no, weird. no, no. Because like he's been in a ton of movies. Yeah, he's been in at least what fifty movies, something like that. Yeah, he's been in a few movies. Yes. Yeah. And uh, like I had to go down and then find the link under his filmography. Yeah. And then click on that. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I have a feeling this is going to be another one of those ones where you look up the name of the movie and oh, really the you're... only thing that pops up. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's hard. What? And that's so obvious. So after the story that he told when, on his first day, um, what's her face? Yucatan. Mm -hmm. He comes back in the studio the next day and she has a whole bunch of print-offs of what people thought of the stories. Yeah. And well, it's a... Uh... Fan letters. Yeah, fan yeah. letters, and, and and he doesn't want any any and part she's of it. Like, he's well, like, I, I he's don't like, all right, guys, this. it's time to start the show. I'm out. And she's yeah. like, wait, you should talk again. And yeah. he's like, I'm not doing that. I'm a yakuza. That's mm -hmm. not what I got into being a yakuza for. Yep. Yeah. And she's like, he's like, besides, nobody wants to listen to me yeah, anyway. Yeah, and she's like, no, look at these fan letters. And she just goes, bah! Bah! knocks all the fan letters out yeah. of her out of her hands. And and he's just like, I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah. And he only wishes that was Taro's face. <laughs> <laughs> Smacking that shit out. Tar Taro's like sitting right, standing right there <laughs> yeah. next to him. Yeah. Oh. oh. Wait, does she 
does she talk him into staying for that? But one? That's when that's when that's when he goes to the boss. I thought he goes to the boss. I thought that's the second time. He Maybe goes. that's the second time he goes to the boss I think, because I think he gets the kick in the ass. The boss is kind of funny. Yeah, he's not bad. He's so weird. I mean, he has a, he has a small ass role, but if he, he had has a bigger a role, high school girl in there. Yeah, it's it's really weird. And there's like a creepy. high school girl, and like at one point, she's just like sitting in a kiddie pool with a water gun, yep. shooting Gingy in the face. Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's just kind of awkward. Yeah, at one point she's just sitting there, at one point she looks at Kat, Jinji, and she's just like, you are not a man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, thanks. Because my, cause my self-esteem is so high from getting out of prison for 15 years. Oh, well, we never mentioned before that. Uh, Junji has a wife and a daughter. Oh, yes, yes. Because yep. one of, another, uh, what he does after he goes and finds out that after he goes to the station that first time. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Is, yeah, uh, afterwards. He goes to uh, Junji's pub. Yeah. The Junji pub or whatever. Yep. And uh, it, it turns out he has a wife. He hasn't seen him in 15 years. Yeah. <laughs> さら<笑> see him in prison. Oh, I, I mean, we don't know that, but yeah. it seems like they haven't seen him. No, it, it, it doesn't seem like it at She's all. She's just like, welcome back, and yeah. pours him a drink. Yeah. And it's very business-like. <laughs> and here's your money. His daughter's 17. Yeah. So Sakura? Sakura. Sakura, yeah. yeah. Uh, and her nickname is Cherry. <laughs> Cherry. <laughs> yep, and uh, her boyfriend... Nabushi? Yes. Sure. Let's go with it. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> you won't be able to find it on Wikipedia, don't worry. Like, yeah, he's not out there. <laughs> it doesn't exist on IMDb either. <laughs> no, I found it on IMDb. Did you really? But all the actors are wrong. Oh, <laughs> so it doesn't exist. <laughs> so it really isn't on IMDb. It's got, it's, the name of the movie is there. It's listed as a uh, FM 89.3. Yeah. Uh... Parentheses 2007 because yeah. it has to distinct, dis, distinguish itself from yeah. the other ones. Sure, whatever. It's got all the all the wrong actors as far as I can tell. Well, what um, the hell? And it's got a description that matches the movie properly. Uh huh. <laughs> what did it have on IMDb? Uh, it had nothing because it said coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> But I was able oh, to Oh, come on! The movie's 13 years old! I was able to add it to my watch list. <laughs> oh, what'd you give it? I was able to rate it. Oh, <laughs> shit! Oh, this movie doesn't exist outside of the bounds of Jinch. <laughs> and Asian Wiki. <laughs> shit. Man, we need to start doing movies that people have heard of. I know! <laughs> shit! <laughs> Damn it! Well, that's why I want to do this one, because people should should hear about this. It is! It's I, so I, good. It's enjoyable. 
It's a very enjoyable movie. Because we originally watched Yakuza Principal, saying, you know, well, let's yeah. try it we out. We found a movie called Yakuza Principal, and we were like, oh, this sounds weird. Yeah, it, sounded, Japanese, it sounded cheap. A it Japanese sounded funny. kindergarten cup. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, well, like, I mean, a, come kids, on. A kids, kids movie with a Yakuza as a principal. Right, I mean, it's like Arnold, who's a Yakuza <laughs> member. And then we watch it, and there's, like, a woman with her, with her tits out. Yeah, it's like, this is a fucking kids movie we're with like, We thought this was a kids movie. <laughs> and like, and they're doing drugs. And he's yelling, go fuck yourself and stuff with people. <laughs> Didn't he say that a kid? No, oh. I, I don't think he ever used profanity oh. in a kid. But, uh, like, there's a bunch of stuff about Yakuza and, like, how there's a gang war coming up. Yeah. <laughs> We'll talk about that movie the yeah. other day. But, yeah. but basically we were like, hey, that looks cool. And then like, I, I read the description for this movie. Yeah. And it was like, oh, that's the same character. Yep. Oh. And like at one point uh, in in the uh, movie, in Yakuza Principal, one of them comes up and they're like, hey, you're Junji from, yep. from uh, 89.3 FM. Right, right. And he's like, and of course, of course, Judge like, had it. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, that's weird. And then like, I was just like, wait a minute. I saw the the thumbnail for that movie, and I right. read it, and it's about a yakuza guy that takes over a radio station, and that seems strangely similar to yeah. this movie. Yeah. And sure shit, it was. It and was, sure uh, shit, this is the first movie in yep. that trilogy. Yep. And that's that. Yep. And that's how we found this movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Next. So, so just as just as like PSC, we're we're all around the map. Yeah. It's okay. We, it's okay. Anyone who's come this far is. Yeah. They know that we don't know what we're doing. No. <laughs> we're, 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 we're the worst show on the internet. It's okay. <laughs> we don't even know the names. It's okay. <laughs> we don't even know the names of all the characters. <laughs> That's okay, because, uh, well, I, I like that guy. That's what I like about, uh, about Junji and his future son-in-law, is that, uh, like, his future son-in-law is nothing but a fuck-up. He's a 28-year-old yep. DJ. Yep. Who doesn't make any money. <laughs> no, no. Who, who performs to nobody. Come on. Come on. Junji just is kind of just like <laughs> yeah he's, he's just he's like the flow. I've been gone for 15 years I have no right to say that that you shouldn't date my daughter even though right. she's 17 and you're 28 yeah yeah, yeah only 11, eight, 11 years of a difference it's not like she's a minor or anything yeah. Yeah. although I don't know what the laws in Japan are no so I don't know I don't know either I don't know. so maybe it's legal there it could be it could be it's strange it, it, it's quite strange. It's a little strange. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's a DJ, so he's probably mentally on the same. Oh, level oh sure. So, <laughs> I would imagine. I'm not know. saying DJs are stupid. No. But, I mean, this guy is. Yeah. He's, he's like your stereotypical comedy DJ. Yeah. Where he's just like, hey, man, yeah. I'm, I'm basically homeless, yeah. and everyone else supports me, and I'm a DJ. Yeah. I'm a loser. <laughs> I'm fulfilling my dream. Yeah. I That's wear gonna, stupid clothes. It's gonna get me nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's there's literally a scene and he's just like, I think I failed at my dream and it just like flashes back to the show that he was doing and he's just doing all this DJ stuff and no one's there. <laughs> <laughs> nobody. And he's just performing for nobody. Nobody. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Give up on that dream, dude. But the actor is pretty good. At yeah, that he is not bad. I like him. No, I, I like him too. And I love the dynamic he has with with Junji because he looks up to him so much. He does. He does. Yeah. And he even said he wanted to join him. Yeah. Well, he didn't say he wants to join the Yakuza, but there there was a point where he was like, uh, like I didn't take responsibility. I didn't take responsibility for my actions. Punch yeah. me in the face. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, the only way that I can be redeemed is if you punch me in the face. Yeah. And Junji just says, like, I, I don't, no. I, I can't 
Right. Don't have anything to say. And I think what he, uh, what he says is something like, uh, like, if anything happens to you guys, then I'll have to take out whatever, whoever did it or yeah. something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously he's considered him a member of the family. Yeah. Right? Wow, that's way off in the... In the yeah, movie. yeah, that's, that's in the future. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. Where were we? So we were talking about once once he got the sponsors. Oh. Yeah, and so, you know, once he got that kick in the ass from the boss again... Oh, yeah. ...for the second time... And that's when, when she sprays him in the face with the water gun... Yes. ...and says, yeah. you were once a man. Yeah, yeah. It's like, thanks. <laughs> thanks, high school chick. Thanks. <laughs> She doesn't even get a name. No, she doesn't even have a name. So now, you know, Junji, he's he's got a, a fire up his ass now. He's he's like, he's, oh, I, he's motivated. This is this is what I'm doing. Yep. And the whole time, his uh, his old yakuza buddy, uh, Ka Kawa Kari, something. Oh, well, let's go with that. It's whatever. Close enough. It's Yakuza buddy. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, Yakuza brother. Yeah, he refers to him as brother yeah. because they're, they're, like, you know, they're in, they're equals in the Yakuza. Yeah. yeah. So, um, he, he, there's one point where he's talking to him, and he's just like, uh, he's just like, you know, try, kind of reminiscing about right, things. Right, right, and just they're like, trying Everyone's you, everyone's doing cell phones, and I don't understand it, and I, I don't know how to use cell phones properly, right. and, like, I don't understand it. Yep. All of the, like, slang and style and everything has changed. Right. Uh, the way, the way, like, men in the Yakuza are is different now. Right. Like, there's, he's, I think he says something about, like, it being less honorable, or people right. be having less honor or something right. like that. Right. Like all of these young people just want to beat the shit out of everyone and not actually do the like job properly. Right. Stuff like that. Right. And uh, and the the guy at one point they're talking and he he ends up they end up kind of like getting in a little bit of a fight. Yeah. I mean, they just really kind of don't see eye to eye because, uh, I mean, you know, he's he's been he's so technologically impaired. Well, it's not only that he's like socially impaired. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, like, he he's kind of fallen off the chain in terms of the yakuza too. It's almost like coming out. Like if you went away for fifteen years, you came right. back and you're in a completely different right. culture than you were. Right. You know. Right. And then his his yakuza brother just basically says, "I'm busy. I gotta go." He he says, uh, "Well, I've got I've got work to do. If you want to reminisce, do it on your radio show." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like thanks, dude. Thanks, thanks a lot. I think I think he says something like, uh, "Junji, you're behind the times. That's why you're stuck there," or something like that. Well, how can you blame the guy? He hasn't taught how to use a damn phone. Yeah, <laughs> I mean shit. And and that's uh, that's when I think we see him do like his first real show. Oh yeah, that, that? that's when he when he kind of gets the confidence to <laughs> He's like, "All right, well, you know, tell his stories. This and, is where I am in life and yep. this is what I'm going to yep. be saying." And he says like, uh, "I just got out of prison in 15 years and I don't know anything that's going on." Yep. Like everything is it's it's so different. Right. You know. Right. <laughs> and, and I can't imagine how different it was. And um you know, he, he just says a lot of his stuff, and people are like, man, everyone loves listening oh, to yeah. him. Because he becomes big. He's got such a unique perspective, because right. he's like, he, he's been in prison for 15 yeah. years. Yeah. And he, he's talking about stuff that, like, other Yakuza have experienced and right. just, just don't have. Right. You know, another thing that was interesting that his brother was telling him, or his, his brother was mm. telling him, was... Uh, I think it was in that scene when he said, uh, he said, I, w I envied you when you went to prison for the boss, but now, now I see that, uh, now I see that I was able to, to thrive while you were gone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was basically like, yeah, you went away and yeah. I reaped all the rewards. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thanks. Thanks. Thanks, brother. <coughs> 
Thanks a lot. <laughs> and it turns out that brother, or that that Yakuza. Yeah, that brother. He's a. Uh, he is dealing drugs. Yep. He's selling drugs to tons of drugs. Yep. To all sorts of people. Yep. Like he he set, provides. I think they said all of the drugs in Shinjuku. Yep. Uh. And that's a big no-no because uh, their family doesn't allow drugs. Right. They they yep. do prostitution. They do all sorts of stuff. They do not do drugs. Yeah. Well, it, it's it's a big deal when you have a line. Right. Because right. <laughs> I mean, it it could probably be a big deal in that situation because like another family is the drug dealing right. family. Right. Right. And like you start busting it on their right. turf and they start getting pissed. Uh huh. Uh-huh. You know? And then <laughs> forms a gang war. Yeah. So, obviously there are reasons for right. their roles. Right. Um, but, that's, that's, they, you find that out during, uh, they're all sitting around brainstorming, like, new ideas for yeah. shows on yeah. the, on the radio station. Yeah. And, uh, I think Taro comes up with the idea. Yeah, he actually does. Where Taro says, uh, oh, what if we do, like, a prisoner release show? show where yep. like we we announce like which prisoners right. are getting released from are getting released yep. uh and when Yeah, so they they go to the the prison. <laughs> yep. And they're all like, that's a great idea! Yeah, yeah, they, I love, they like it. There's a scene where they're just like, what should we call it? And they're like, how about prisoner release news? And everyone's like, that's such a great name! Yeah! <laughs> More inclined that this is a B-movie! <laughs> it's like, what should we call the Alien Invasion movie? Alien Invasion! Yay! <laughs> so excited about they it. They are, they are. <laughs> but the good thing is that they're meshing. They're they're actually creating ideas yeah, for that's, this tiny stage. That's that's what it is. It's, it's like bonding, it's all rapport, of, it's all great. Of them bond. Even Taro is like Yeah, kind even of, the even the moron Taro, <laughs> he's he's becoming he's, one of them. He's not a moron. He's just he's he's kind of a coward. Well what what is with that those <laughs> scenes though where he is behind the glass and he gets this like big gold grin, and then he just starts shaking, and he kind of just cowers away. Like, is, is he, he having an orgasm music? or what? Let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, just so awkward. It's, it's so it's, weird. And they show it multiple times. I think it's two times in the movie. That, that's way. That, that's one too many. So it's just once. <laughs> it, it's it's at least three times. I don't know, but maybe. It's just very awkward. It, it's weird. It, it isn't needed. It's weird, and I think it was for comedic effect, and I don't understand what's supposed to be. I, I, I don't know. But whatever. Yeah. It's kind of cheap. But yeah, during that scene is when uh, when Taro's just just like, we could do a show that announces drug prices. And yeah. And just like, our family doesn't do drugs. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I think he hits him in the back of the head. <laughs> well, of course he does, <laughs> as he should. Uh, <laughs> but no, there's a scene like at the beginning when uh, <laughs> he's after Taro picks him up and uh, like brings him back, and they all kick the shit out of Taro. Yeah. Taro is like kowtowing to everyone in this yeah, movie, yeah. literally. Like oh, he's yeah. he's forehead to the ground to everyone. Yeah. And there's a there's a scene where they where Junji and uh, Taro are both sitting together, and he just—he's just like, uh, like, are those, are those, uh, job search magazines? And he's like, yeah. And then he's like, oh, are are you planning on uh, going straight and leaving the family? And he's like, no, it's not like that. Uh, and then Junji says, you aren't cut out to be a yakuza anyway. Yeah. And he, I, he says it in like a way that doesn't seem to be, like, 
discounting him no. or like you're not a man or anything right. like that. It seems more like no, your temperament isn't right no. for this. No, no, no. He's too much of a screwball and yeah, and, and this loosey goosey guy. Yeah, yeah. says, no, you're really not a part of this family anymore. Does he, though? I mean, he, he, I mean, I don't know if he actually says that, but he insinuates it. it he seems very loosey-goosey on the thing, to me. You know? I mean, he lets him leave. Yeah, he, he lets him go, but I don't, I don't know. It's, it's very strange, because the boss is a weird character. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's smiling he's, the whole time. Yeah. You know? But he's a terrible actor. He's kind of loosey goosey yeah. through the whole thing. Yeah. The boss is a very strange guy. Yeah. But there's no way that he can keep his <sighs> And because there's a part where they outright ask him, like, Are you are you dealing drugs? And he's like, Of course not. It's banned in the Okawa family. Yeah. And they're like, Okay, go. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. He's he's It's just... a very strange scene. Yeah, but it's it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, we find out that Cherry is pregnant. Yep. She's 17 and pregnant by the 28-year-old yep. guy. Yep, the, the DJ. And he said that he's going to take responsibility and marry her. Yep. And that uh, that he's going to quit being a DJ and get a real job. Yep. Yep. And then so Junji, Junji tells him he's not a real man because he's giving up on his dream. <laughs> yeah. yeah, real nice. <laughs> Which is hilarious. Yeah. With this no-name DJ. Yeah. Who plays for nobody. He, he says, uh, you're just, you're just using her to, 
to uh, explain away your cowardice. Right. And run away from your dream. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was, that was deep. Sakura no se ni shiteru ni jane yo. いやあのそういうことじゃなくて、はい、この街でのムーブメントは俺が起こしてるって自負してるしぶっちゃけ俺の存在なくして語れないとは思ってるし、はい、次の世代にこのシステムっていうのを伝えていくことがこれからの俺の使命みたいなだから結局やめてんだろ<笑>いやあの、ね、そういうことじゃなくて 100% やった結果手伝われてんだったら素直に言われいいじゃない傷はもともと俺割れてるしあんたお前には関係ないだろもうジェリーちょっとお前こんな父親でも何でもないからマジ気にする必要ないからちょっと私のことなんか何も知らないくせに今さら父親ぶってんじゃねえよもうちょっとお前パパさんになんてこと言うんだよお前パパさんが言うように自信がなくなったのをチェリーのせいにして逃げてましたぶっちゃけ一発殴ってもらっていいですか俺こいつら守っていくんでこんな弱っきな自分とさよならしたいんでマジお願いしますあんたなんじゅんじ、and then he screams and freaks out and runs away. 
to grow more as like a family man and right. all of that. Right. Right. Yeah. And I think that's that's an interesting continued character development for sure. Them. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. But so they all hunt this guy down and they find him and they like gang up on this dude. Yeah. And I think they beat him, don't they? Oh yeah, they they kick yeah. his ass. They yeah. Yeah. beat the shit out of him. Yeah. And his wife calls him up, and they're like, "Hey, uh, it was just a flesh wound." Yeah, yeah. So yeah, shot call off arm. all of these people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like he was shot in the arm. Yeah. It's just a flesh wound. So call off all of these people. Yeah. And he goes on, and he's like, "I'm sorry, I overreacted. Everyone yeah. can stop looking for him." Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all that stuff. And I doesn't he say something like that? But uh. Kura, Kura Kawa, I'm yeah, he, coming he, for you. <laughs> yeah, he basically says that. Yeah. 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 Because he, he knows, like, that's who, who put the, oh, yeah, put well, the of hit on him. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And then it's it shows that he's listening, and he just goes, like, yeah. by Junji, and he yeah. drives off. Yeah. Come on. Cat Taxi. 
<laughs> Always stay tuned for Cat Taxi. Yes. Well, that's our review of 89.3. Yeah, it's a very good movie yeah. about, uh, about, like, a hard man who's changed. About, yeah, about a man who kind of loses everything but yeah. gains something sure. at the end. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, he went to prison, he gained a sense of... I and mean, he very much lost everything. He did. They make a big point of that, too. Where, sure. like, he, he, comes, he comes out and, like, all of the Yakuza guys are really excited, but, like, the Yakuza family that he's in has changed so much. Yeah. And they even say, you know, this guy's a hard ass. Yeah. He came out. I mean, he, before I can imagine, he was an enforcer. Wasn't there? A, wasn't there like a, a quote from the movie where one of them says, like, I I, I was hoping he'd get prison raped and yeah. soften him up. Yeah, yeah, they, that's literally what they said. どうしますかね、君。あ、いいね。ちっと俺の中で傷でも掘られて丸くなってるような気がしてたんですけどね。<laughs> <laughs> Obviously, that didn't have to work. I mean, just him doing something that he didn't realize that he would like. Yeah. And he loved it. Mm -hmm. And he's good at it. Yeah. This is a very good movie. I liked it. About, oh, I'm not going to say rehabilitation because he's the Yakuza guy. A but guy who changed his, his mindset. Yeah. He didn't have to be such an asshole. It's, about, he, it's, it's very much like an old dog, new tricks yeah. movie. Yeah. Yeah, and you can even see him grow throughout the movie. He doesn't kick Taro's ass as nearly as much exactly. anymore. Exactly. He's working with Taro. Like it's a shockingly yeah. good movie yeah. as it yeah. goes on. Like yeah. he, he becomes happy. He he gains happiness, and as uh, it goes along, and he like becomes more of like a family man yeah. by the end of it. Yeah. Like as the movie goes on, we see him spending more and more sure. time with his family. Yeah, yeah, he's becoming humble. Yeah. yeah, he's. I think it's it's like he's slowing down. Sure. He's he's older. He's as it should wiser. be. He's Fifteen years in prison. He just he feels like like everything's left him behind. Yeah. But he finds this new thing yep. that'll hold him stable. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And then that's what I mean. This hidden gem. Yeah. This movie is very good. Yeah, it's a hidden gem. Yeah. I mean, you can't find it anywhere besides Jed. Oh, well, yeah. But it doesn't like, even exist. I mean, on IMDb, it's coming soon. <laughs> it's 13 years ago. It even says 2000. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's in 15 years in prison, so it'll, it'll come out in 22. <laughs> you know what? Uh, maybe it's just waiting for someone to finish it. Oh, yes, yes. I, I don't know how IMDb pages get no paid. Idea. I have no idea. Can you just, like, upload a movie on IMDb? I, I don't know. We should make a page for it if you can. I mean, we, it's already made, but obviously you'd have to change the cast. We should change... Well, the cast might be right, but it has no character names and no pictures. I don't know. I don't know. Z uh, Ozawa doesn't have a... Doesn't have a... Uh, Is he even IMDb. listed? Is he listed as one? Oh, then we're going to have to change the actors. Yeah. I think I think one of them is literally like Aja, like oh. AJA. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. Like it's a really weird IMDb page. I've yeah. never seen any. Well, if anybody like can it. do that, do that for us. Yeah. yeah uh, please watch this movie and yeah. post it on yeah. IMDb. It's yeah. such a good movie that deserves more recognition. Yeah, all over four viewers, please. <laughs> one of us. One of our thirteen four. subscribers. <laughs> Yeah, do that. Please. Double digits. Yeah, <laughs> we're moving yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, All thank right. you for watching. All right. I'm Michael. I'm John. Bye. Take care. <laughs>